Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video that I'm super excited about. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my absolute favourite small business. This year I've decided to buy small business as most of my Christmas gifts for my friends and family. It's obviously been a really difficult year for a lot of people and those who have either started small business or kept it going throughout this really tough year. I just think it's such a nice way to kind of keep those businesses going and alive. I know it can sometimes be quite a difficult place to start with shopping small business because there's so many amazing businesses out there and it's kind of, yeah, difficult to know where to start or where to shop. So in today's video are my favorite small businesses that I'm gonna be gifting this year and hopefully you guys will too. So I'm gonna leave links to everything down below. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. I like, it would mean so much to me, just as it would mean so much to the small business that you purchased from this year it means just as much for me trying to run this business as well if you could support and thumbs up so yeah let's get to it i'm going to start with one of my absolute favorite small businesses of all time i've been such a big fan of this brand for about three years now and it is eat mealies now if you watch my youtube videos you will definitely know eat mealies because i use her products all the time she's an awesome illustrator that lives in amsterdam and she creates the cutest funnest drawings that can be seen as quite taboo but i absolutely love them for example my vulva mug which is an eat me leads weird illustration design i also have her penis mug i just love her designs and what she does i love how she kind of promotes body confidence and body positivity by illustrating bodies and people and kind of looks that aren't necessarily um, mainstream along with mugs and key rings and uh, stationery she also does clothes i have two of her t-shirts one of her newest prints here it's just come out the wash so it's a bit creased but this is a mint green t-shirt which says thinking about snacks and that is me in a nutshell i also have her socks that says thinking about snacks as well and she also does the cutest greetings cards they're a little bit rude but i've been giving them for years to my friends and family this is one of my faves which i've been keeping for a special occasion it says happy birthday the best thing about being old is when your boobs blow in the wind and oh, I just love that. Like I've never seen a birthday card that promotes sagging boobs before. And for that reason, I love Eat Mealies. She also does commissioned prints. So for my birthday, G commissioned Kim from Eat Mealies to draw a picture of me from the day after we got engaged. And like, I've always wondered what I would look like as an Eat Mealies illustration. And now I know. So yeah, I hope that there's still time for you to order a commissioned piece because bearing in mind, all of these small business kind of just maybe a one man band. So make sure that you get your orders in early to make sure that they have time to create your product and ship them out in time before Christmas. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to her down below. Her Instagram's also awesome. She has a really funny cat called Gimli and I'm just obsessed. I had some Eat Mealy's washi tape to show you in this video, but he bit a hole in it. <laughs> so, naughty cat. Next up, another one of my favourite small business, one that I've been a fan of for about five, six years now, is a jewellery brand called Oh My Clumsy Heart. This brand is owned by a girl called Sophie who has a really beautiful, minimalistic kind of lifestyle blog and that's how I found the brand. But Sophie designs the most gorgeous pieces of really delicate, really um, minimalistic jewellery. Jewelry. It's all handcrafted and created using fine metal with really simple, intricate, delicate designs and I think this is the perfect gift for any of your loved ones this year. For this video I treated myself to one of her new necklace designs which I think is so beautiful. It's a really pretty gold hand and I have never seen a kind of piece of jewellery like this on the high street and that's one reason that I absolutely love small business because you can find things that not everyone else is going to be wearing and um, so yeah I absolutely love this and I can imagine that when I wear it out I'm going to get a lot of compliments on it also her prices are very fair it's all handmade in the UK and yeah I'm just a huge fan of 
in my clumsy heart so i'll leave a link to that down below next up another jewelry brand and this is one that is very very close to my heart because um on our first christmas together g my fiance bought me a necklace from this brand uh, after he found it on etsy the brand is called dart jewelry i'll leave a link down below but again very minimalistic very contemporary and unique kind of geometric design the owner really puts a focus on shape and structure and the necklace i have that he bought me was this kind of a triangular geometric design and i love this it's one of my favorite necklaces and she also does earrings and bracelets and rings and all that jazz if candles are your thing i would really highly recommend checking out the brand clement and claude this is one of my like favorite candles i ha i don't burn it that often because i don't want it to run out this is a brand that i think is run between Cornwall and London so it's a nice small independent brand in the UK and they hand pour soy candles and they have such a delicious range of fragrances I'm on their website one they've got a new one called firecracker which I think sounds so nice and also they have small business ceramicists to hand um, create their pots that they put their candles in so this is like completely handmade handcrafted in the uk from a small business everyone is going to be slightly more unique because um they're all yeah handmade and i just think this is such a nice gift Another candle and home fragrance brand that I wanted to show you guys is a brand called Serenity Places and this is owned and run by a lovely girl called Emily who has a lifestyle blog. She has a passion for well-being, beauty and food and created this brand I think in lockdown and when I got this through the post I was just like blown away because this smells delicious she makes uh, candles and reed diffusers they are all vegan and handmade and i've been saving this to open on this video oh so nice so i got one candle and one reed diffuser from her the candle i got is brandy and mince pie this is one of her soy wax limited edition christmas fragrances that smells delicious and the reed diffuser i got is spiced orange and this one i cannot wait to get up and open because it is so orangey and festive and i think this is just a really lovely way to support another small business run by a lovely lovely girl okay one more home fragrance small business that i really wanted to share and this is another one of my favorites i know i'm saying all of these are my favorites but they genuinely are Earl of east you might have heard of them already this is a home fragrance brand created by two guys paul and nico in hackney in east london they have a fragrance here called smoke and musk and this is like my dream perfume honestly i cannot get enough of this fragrance it is just what it says on the tin it's smoky sexy so wintry although they sell it all year round and i have the home mist and the candle and yeah i like spritz this everywhere it's so beautiful they started this brand in 2014 as they had a passion for fragrance and they have a little shop that you can go and visit near london fields in hackney and you can actually book yourself in to have candle making workshops there so if your dream is to go and create your own fragrance for a candle you can go and meet the guys and they can talk you through the story of how they created their small business and they also sell loads of other small business in their studio they've got loads of ceramics and books and like soap and chocolate and it's just like me and G whenever we go to their store we're like oh my god we want, we want like something like this because it's just so beautiful Earl of East I think they are stocked in quite a few stores these days like they're doing really well which makes me very happy because they like they mean a lot to me um having met Nico and him just being so lovely so Earl of East highly highly recommend the next brand is called Crafty Moose and this is unlike anything else I'm showing you in this gift guide and this is also one that means so much to me Sophie works alone to create handmade hand felt little miniature animals so if you have a cat or a dog or a hamster or a favorite squirrel or rabbit that you would like handmade with felt as a little ornament then sophie and crafty moose is the place to go if you've been following me for a while you'll know that i had a pet hamster who was my absolute world like she was the best thing ever she passed away in 2018 and um, i was devastated 
but Sophie reached out um, earlier this year and asked if I would like Echo made into one of her creations and I literally, when this came in the post, I couldn't believe it because it is actually like having Echo back in my life again. So I sent her loads of pictures and she created her, like literally life size. She doesn't do like cats and dogs life size because that would be ridiculous. That would take her so long to do. But um, I just think this is the most beautiful thing ever. And I actually cried when I got this because it is like, she meant so much to me and she's captured Echo's likeness beautifully so i have actually commissioned sophie to make another one of these for someone very close to me this christmas to gift because i just think it's such like you couldn't get more personal than creating one of your pets in felt form so i'm gonna leave um sophie's facebook down below she uses facebook to like commission through and i just think yeah if you get to her soon enough hopefully you'll be able to commission one yourself and um, but bearing in mind she does it by herself and so it does take a little bit of time to get done how do you get over that i i literally can't get over it it's one of my favorite things i just have to keep it away from maurice because he will attack it next up is a brand called letterbox gems and as you can see i very excitingly ripped into this parcel check out what was inside but Letterbox Gems was created by a lovely girl called Gemma as basically gift boxes that feature up and coming independent British brands. So there's a real nice selection in this and they are all designed to fit through your letterbox so you don't need to be home when the package arrives. There's a real passion for sustainability and conscious shopping at the heart of this lovely small business and I have the Luna box here today and I can show you what that includes. Oh. I love this idea so much. I have a lovely notebook here from a brand called Sloan Stationery. This feels so high quality and it has this really cute kind of celestial astrological print on it. From Sleepy Bee Studio, we have some assorted cards with envelopes and Star and Moon wax seals, which I think is the loveliest idea. We also have a soap bar, which has been infused with repurposed chai seeds from a brand called called Up Circle Beauty. In the box you get kind of a sheet that tells you all about the businesses in your box but I love this idea. I think it's super cute and they have I think three or four different gift boxes on their website that you can choose from but yeah I love the Luna box because it kind of has this celestial feel to it. Next up one of my favourite homeware ornaments from a small business. This is my booby pot from a brand called Jiggly Bits by Alice and Alice runs Jiggly Bits. I found this brand on Instagram and I've spoken to Alice, the owner, and she's really lovely. She has an Etsy store and a normal website where you can buy these handmade pots that she makes with clay. I kind of use this for trinkets or makeup brushes or pens. It's only been glazed once, so it's not ideal for plants unless they're cacti that you don't really water that much but i bought the, one of these for my mum for her birthday this year because i absolutely love this as a homeware ornament i love that each one of them is handmade and slightly different and she also does like nice little bikini prints on them as well so yeah i love jiggly bits by alice and if you like this kind of thing go and check it out next up a brand called scruffy designs look how cool that is i love when you get something from small business and they've got a really cool logo and you can kind of tell what's coming in the post scruffy designs is the brainchild of a 30 year old artist a lovely lovely lady and she creates really fun prints and stationery so i have a print here <laughs> which I love and I need to get a frame for. How cool is that? I absolutely love it. So she does little illustrations like this, which are super fun, super kind of break taboos, which is all like completely my vibe. I have a pack of notepads here. So this one has a vibrator on it. That looks like a bullet vibrator as well. And some chocolate some more prints as well which i absolutely love i i need to get these framed for my office because i think they're brilliant but look at that it's like a greek god statue print on a really cute pink um background there's a woman one and there's also this one 
I absolutely love these. I think they are brilliant and it's a lovely way to shop and small, support small business. There's also some bookmarks here, which I think is super fun as well. So all of the cellophane that everything is wrapped in is 100% compostable. And it says on here, it would disappear in thin air like the last guy you dated. Next up, I wanted to show you this gorgeous new print that I have from my office and this is actually a brand that was started by a friend during lockdown my friend emma is a photographer and she's recently started making these really gorgeous acrylic canvases that you can commission you can choose the colors of she's also got pre-made ones that you can buy on her website but i just think these are super unique i i commissioned this one with loads of kind of purples um greens and golds yeah i love this and it complements the colors of my office perfectly so another way to support small business and an artist as well during lockdown this year another friend of mine Chris Denner I'm gonna leave all of her links down below she is one of the best people I've ever met like I can't gush enough about Chris Denner and um, she has a really gorgeous uh, website where you can buy her prints and zines and cartoon like comics but I have this print from her me and G always gift each other a Chris Denner print it seems for Christmas or birthdays and he got me this one of hers for my birthday this year it's little terrariums in her very cute illustration with this gold foil terrarium vibe and it also has little men in there i don't know if you can spot them but they're very cute yeah christina is an amazing artist and a woman that i'm very like proud to call my friend and if you could support her small business this year that would really mean a lot to me i think this just makes the loveliest gift a couple of foodie bits to wrap up this video two of which I don't have with me because one I'm waiting on and one I ate all of. Um, but the ones I do have in front of me, firstly is Sipful. This was created by founders Darius and Emily and they created really gorgeous cocktails in a can. Um, already this feels different to normal cans of booze you can buy in the supermarkets. They feel so much more luxurious and they do a couple of different flavours. I have the Bellini with real peach, white wine and bubbles and I also have a mimosa with real blood orange with white wine and bubbles and basically I wanted to create a canned alcoholic beverage which wasn't really synthetic tasting and overly sweet. So they quit their jobs and created Sipful. So this is a really nice small business that has a really nice community vibe behind it and real passion behind canned cocktails so I'll leave a link to them down below. These cans are also recyclable and the wine used in each can is also organic so they really care about the ingredients and sustainability and um, packaging and yeah I hope that you guys can support them. I also wanted to tell you about a brand called Block which make amazing fudge handmade in the UK and um, they do really nice limited edition um, fudge blocks depending on the occasion and the time of the year. So I tried some of their Halloween ones, which was a trick or treat one. They had a lotus biscuit one, which was delicious, a toffee apple one. And they have some really nice ones for Christmas this year. I think they have a candy cane minty one. And they also have a Bailey's one, which I'm really excited to purchase for myself this Christmas. And another brand that me and my friends found on Etsy, which I'm just waiting for a package of but hopefully I'll be able to photograph them for the blog post that goes along with this and um, but it's a brand called Naughty Slabs and they make slabs of chocolate here in the UK which are very rude so they have like curse words written on them with loads of little like um confetti uh, hundreds of thousands and I just think that's so fun I've ordered myself an advent calendar from them and I think it's a, a dick a day I think I can't quite remember but I thought that was a really nice way of buying from a small business that makes food hand makes food in their kitchens this year maybe you could put them into a hamper with a couple of like mugs or sip full like I think a hamper of small business is a really nice gifting idea this winter that has been a very very long video but I hope this has given you some small business inspiration let me know if you do purchase anything from these brands let, let me know down below in the comments or send me a dm on instagram i'd be so grateful and i'm sure all of these guys who are behind all of these brands would as well so i love you lots guys see ya